Obviously, uh, Saturday, November 4th, live from Madison Square Garden, we have three title fights. Bisbing versus GSP, Garbrandt versus Dillashaw, and Yon Jacek versus Nama Junas. Doesn't get bigger than this. Michael Bisping, middleweight title, Madison Square Garden, it's, it's a dream come true. I, I couldn't wish for a better scenario. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's great, you know, like, uh, and, and I'm very happy. I wanted to have a, the, the biggest fight as possible for my comeback, and I'm at the best when I'm fighting under pressure, when I'm on the edge. That's when I perform the best. Well, I'm going to fight him in the octagon and beat him there. That's where it's important for me. Yeah! Go, George, everybody. Cheer. Enjoy that cheer now, because there is no way on earth that you can win. Listen, I respect George. Do you want me to talk, or do you want to get the f*** out? <laughs> GSP, GSP, let's go. Enjoy it, Canada. Embrace it. GSP is going to get f***ing wiped out. That's about it. That's about it. I respect George. George is a good fighter. George is a great athlete. He's a good martial artist. I was expecting some more you douchebags to have the f***ing headbands on from Karate Kid today. Where are you all? Where are the GSP fans? Come on, George. What the f*** is going on? This is your place. Where are the hordes of people? I'm really upset. Um, listen, I respect George. I know it's going to be a tough fight. I'm not expecting a walk in the park, but I'm having a bit of fun with him. Of course, I'm going to bust his balls. I'm going to bust his f***ing face in two weeks, three weeks. So I'm going to bust his balls now. You know, I try watching his fights. I fall asleep all the time. I swear to God, I do. I sit there. I have a coffee, which is a, a stimulant to keep me awake. And I still can't do it. I fall asleep every time. Is this coming from a guy who defended his, his, his belt one time? I defended nine times, nine hey, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you, man? George. Who are you? What, what have you done? I'm just what have you start. done? Hey, I've got more wins Zero. in the UFC than anyone. He accomplished a lot of great things in the sport, and that's why I was very excited to take that, that fight. Uh, I didn't want to fight nobody else than Michael. Michael is the, for me, is the, the highest guy right now in the sport, you know? The, there is nobody else in the game right now that I can fight that will help my legacy as much as if I beat Michael Bisping. The so truth of the matter is that George fell into the trap of what a lot of people fall into. He fell into the trap of thinking he can beat me. That's it, plain and simple. That's why you want to fight me. That's why you keep asking Dana for me. Nobody else, because you think you can beat me. You think in your little tiny pea brain that you can beat me, but you can't. And that will be the mistake you made, the trap that a lot of people fall into. They look at me on TV, they say, this guy's beatable. But what you can't see is what I've got in here and what I've got in here. So November 4th, you're gonna find out, pal. Even though I'm sitting here talking all this I respect the hell out of George, and that's why I've trained the way I've trained. Believe you me, this will be the best version of myself there in three weeks.